Good morning, this is Gregory Hillman from B2Review.com. Just wanted to show a little bit about this outdoor aeroponic system that I created and give it a little bit of a review. There's, you can see there's baby spinach growing here, there's tomatoes, we have lettuce, uh, there's some majorum, a pepper plant, uh, a variety of different tomatoes here. Uh, we've been growing this for about maybe four months now, and it did work. Um, the seeds were planted in here, and you can see there's long groups of roots growing down. Um, the problem is that when this is outside, if it rains hard, then the water collects in the bottom, as you can see here. And this is the fogger. It won't work if there's too much water in there. So we're going to bring this indoors for the season now because it just is, it's just been getting hammered out here in the, the weather. Um, but really the plants, they grow pretty well. Certainly in the kind of mid stage they grow very well, but I can't get the plants to grow as large as I do with the larger containers. The media in here is just a a coconut husk that was used. It, it does work really well for roots. Um, when I was starting the seeds I also watered the tops of the containers here and these are just really these are just net pots that you can see and the roots growing out of the bottom and I wanted to make a seal so that there was no light that could get in with this uh, tarp and it worked okay. It it did come apart, but um, um, it did grow some plants. So again, this is Gregory Hillman from B2 Review, and hope you enjoyed the looks of this aeroponic system. The fogger was about 20 bucks, and the rest of the items I just had lying around, um, I cut the net pots in with just an exacto knife um, or like a box cutter knife and it took maybe around an hour to create the whole box. Um, I also just left the fogger going 24 hours a day which seemed to be fine as well. Most people do the fogger on a um, timer as well. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this little aeroponics review.